as a French guy, I knew the Grand Palais, but uh, it was the first time I, I stepped in there last night uh, during the concert, and it's just amazing. Without seeing the, the thing, you, you can't really imagine or realize how big it is and, and how crazy it, it is. I think the level in skateboarding is, is amazing now. I, uh, I don't even understand anymore like I used to. <laughs> watch all the videos and stuff and now that I watch a video I don't I don't get what those guys do anymore. Without skateboarding, uh, snowboarding wouldn't have evolved the same way, surfing wouldn't have evolved the same way so uh, yeah I think we have uh, in all those sports we have uh, a lot to uh, to thank uh, skateboarding for for what we do. Actually, in 76, when um, we first started Quicksilver. What else? Jaws. I remember Jaws. That was a big hit. <laughs> this is actually a picture I had in my bedroom in, from the first Duke contest. Some of the first Quicksilver board shorts, Echo Beach with the dots. That's really what we wore. Unbelievable, huh? Like, that short, huh? No, I don't know if my room actually looked like this chef <laughs> in the 80s, but... You didn't have that best friend. <laughs> There's so many things in here that bring back memories from the 80s. Yeah, that was the, um, the first of the Twin Fins. Um, and it was an idea that came from Reno Abolero. And the Twin Fin configuration just made the board easier to surf in small waves. You know, it's 50% physical, technical, and 50% mental. So if you feel comfortable, if you feel good, and, and you really want to do something, then nothing will, will stop you from that. I really, really enjoyed uh, skating here at the Grand Palais as much as, as I hope they enjoyed watching the contest. <laughs>